An Akron man is heading to prison for selling fentanyl that killed a local father. In November, we told you about the overdose death of Nathan Strickland and the lengthy investigation that led to Antonio Goodwin's arrest. Well, only on News 5, our Bob Jones is following through with the details on Goodwin's punishment and the push to hold drug dealers responsible for deadly overdoses. There's nothing worse than losing your child. I don't care who you are. It doesn't matter. Debbie Miller came to a Summit County courtroom for two reasons, to get justice for her son, Nathan Strickland, and to forgive the man convicted in connection with Nathan's death, Antonio Goodwin. But I just want to tell you, I forgive you for that. And I pray for you. Nathan, a 48-year-old father of three, was found dead in June of last year inside his pickup truck off Copley Road in Akron. He loved his children dearly his grandson dearly. He, um, like I said, he, he was a good man. Investigators determined Nathan died from an overdose. High levels of fentanyl were in his system. Prosecutors say Goodwin sold the drugs to Nathan. Debbie feels her son didn't realize what he was taking. We have to get these drugs off of the street selling to people. Our people are dying. Goodwin was convicted on several charges, including involuntary manslaughter, and today he was sentenced to 10 to 15 years in prison. But I feel like he, he did get some justice. I, Nathan got justice today. Debbie says because of her faith, she also needed to forgive. I chose to forgive him for that so that he can move on with his life too. Goodwin apologized to Nathan's family and to his own family, but the judge pointed out this was not his first time getting in trouble for dealing drugs. And then you're drug trafficking and trafficking in heroin, trafficking in cocaine in 2017 had no impact on you whatsoever. The Summit County Prosecutor's Office says it has taken a more aggressive approach since 2013 to prosecute cases when a person dies from drugs by working with law enforcement to identify the suppliers. And Debbie wants to send a lasting message to others in her situation. Do whatever you can to get justice for your loved ones. Um, but learn to forgive also. Police say the effort to identify and go after drug dealers is ongoing. In fact, Akron police tell me they're currently working three or four cases in which people died from meth, heroin, or fentanyl. In Akron, Bob Jones, News 5.